my boss he would like to start tasting new stuff so now I gotta do something like uh, balsamic rustic grapes crostini so I already have my grapes ready roasted so the only thing I need just a couple pieces of baguette so I want to do a little grill it so what is my oil added a little bit more wood on it so. okay. I would just water like a couple pieces oh my god I love this color let's use a little Tilegio cheese so I already cleaned this uh, piece of Tilesio cheese, so that's gonna be more easy for me. Just cut it right now. Okay. Just wanna do like a couple pieces, one each piece on each uh, crostini. So let's put it a little bit there. Grapes. Mm. Oh, that'd be good. So let's throw in the oven for like, I want to say probably like two minutes right there. This should be good. All right. Let's use a little bit of all, uh, extra virgin olive oil over the top. And then I got some balsamic reduction so just put a little drops on it and then let's get some garnish right here then I water a little bit of sea salt over the top just a little bit not a lot So this is my uh, balsami roasted grapes crostini. All right, and we've roasted the grapes. We've got our crispy oven roasted bread slice. All right, balsamic. And what else? We, the microgreen salt and pepper. Extra what was that good? olive oil. All right, I love olive oil. Yeah, that's what's on the plate is the reduction in the oil. Wow. Cool. Awesome. I'll give you that, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. I don't even know where to start. I'm, I mean, I don't know. Like you mentioned, Pimit, like on our last thing, and my, my mind goes to that as well with this, but I think, you know, grapes, connection. Otherwise, right. have you ever had a roasted grape? I've had a roasted grape on our um, pecan salad, and I love them. They are, it's the first time I've ever had roasted grapes, and it brings out a whole new element. I'm trying to get the scent from it. I can't actually eat the bread because I'm gluten free sadly, but I can definitely taste the grapes and the cheese and the scent provides a lot All of right. information. I'll be able to tell you about the bread. Okay. So weirdly, the first thing that comes to mind just from the scent is Tahitian honey. Mm. It's so good. The sweetness, the savoriness, the richness of the cheese and the oil. Honestly, I say I hate to say it, but you're missing out on the bread. It I is know. unbelievable. I'm always missing out on the bread. It's and sometimes I think like I don't eat bread a whole lot anyways. And like when I go out to eat, if you have like a perfect baguette 
that's crusty and hot with a little butter. Sometimes it's better than like anything on the menu, but I know this is pretty good. But all the flavor really is in the cheese and the and the salt and pepper that's really popping in the grapes. Mm -hmm. And the bread offers, you know, you've got kind of that, it, it is toasted on our grill over almond wood and it's smoky. I think the cheese tastes smoky and it is perfectly done. So as a very messy finger food, which I'm gonna try here in a second, yeah. or delicately sliced, you can't go wrong. All right, so, so what good. what were you going with, number one? Tahitian? Just from the scent. The Tahitian was what stood out. Maybe a little splash of Tahitian with these lids. Tahitian lids. honeymoon, and I think maybe, what do you think out of the San Simone series? I'm feeling like a little apple cherry is gonna be awesome, and you I'm not do sure. The blend? Yeah. All right. I love how the fire roasted grapes, especially when they're whole, they're like soft on the inside, so they just pop in your mouth. And it's like savory and sweet and such a fun texture. That is ridiculous. It really is. And this batch of Tahitian is so, is so vanilla forward. I, um, I saw an untapped review the other day and someone was like complaining it had too much vanilla. No such thing. Which is crazy. It's Lies. like, yeah. It is so good. The honey and vanilla, the way this comes together is outstanding. It goes with, it. it to me, the pepper was a little, I would say out of balance in a fun way, because I love pepper. Like, mm -hmm. You gotta love like fresh cracked pepper to I like this it. dish. It's a good bite. But this makes it disappear, mm -hmm. which is really fun. Yeah, super balancing. It so cleanses good. your palate. And apple. Thank you. I love this one too because there's so much vanilla from the oak that's much. left over. It's like an extra vanilla punch from the barrel aging. It's so nice. So good. All right. San Simone. Cheers. Salute. I love that. All right. Bite and a sip. They're both delicious things, but they don't pop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's delicious, but mm -hmm. it's not amazing delicious. El Sabio, our primates made of Pinot Noir grapes. Ooh. Thank you. Now the aroma is so different than what we just had. Mm, that's nice. There's almost a hint of vanilla in there, even though I know there's no like actual vanilla. I think it's more fun with Tahitian, and I think El Sabio would be like a really great backup suggestion. Totally, they're very different. Wow. It's so cool how when you're trying something like this, like we've never had this food, this flavor combination. I've never even heard of this cheese before. Mm -hmm. It is delicious. I went through a phase in my life where I never really cared for cheese besides like eating pizza or maybe nachos. And I realized the common denominator was obviously those cheeses are melted. And then I started trying like hard cheeses that had like a little bit of funk, a little bit of crunch, and it totally changed the way I looked at things. I, I can like really appreciate a brie, even though it's not something I would ever really go for over something else. But this cheese is, it's mild as far as cheeses go to me, but the flavor's still there. But I think that the, the caramelization and the smokiness it's picking up from the process of however our genius chef Adolfo made this is just so palate pleasing. And I think that the Tahitian vanilla would offer, again, more of a contrast, and I think El Sabio, Pinot Noir, and honey would offer a little bit more of a complementary pairing. They're both awesome, but I think you're right that in this case, the contrast is making this really pop, and that would be my first recommendation, but very close second in my book, and I'd be happy with either, would be El Sabio. Yeah, cool.